Hello, hello everyone, uh, dear students and uh, professionals. Uh, today I am going to brief uh, about our digital library and uh, Wi-Fi library. Uh, in our college, we have implemented a project called uh, uh, DSpace uh, Digital Repository. Uh, it has uh, uploaded audio, video lectures, and uh, question papers, and uh, syllabus, project reports, students' notes, and uh, seminar reports. All uh, resources comes in uh, one platform, uh, which is called uh, DSpace Digital Library. You know that in our college, uh, we have uh, earlier we faced problems. Uh, 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 students come very large number to use these resources and uh, we used to face uh, the problem managing the crowd. In this regard we have a proposal uh, whether we can give the service through the mobile phones uh, and uh, laptop or a tab. These things uh, we have verified. Ultimately we found a solution uh, that called a Wi-Fi library. You know that uh, whether we provide a Wi-Fi facility in campus uh, they may have feel uh, most of students uh, uh, use uh, feel that the internet uh, internet uh, connection is there, and uh, they uh, they are uh, uh, using internet for their own purpose, not for education. So that reason, these are a, a great concern we have faced. So in this regard, without internet connection, uh, they can access our uh, D space uh, content uh, in uh, their uh, mobile phones and uh, tabs. Now I'm going to show those things, how they can use this thing. Now first, when the students enter the campus, uh, you just need to switch on uh, Wi-Fi. Just click that one. I show that uh, digital library. You know that, uh, just click that one. It is open access. Uh, now it's showing that uh, connected symbol. Yeah, uh, it's showing it's connected. After that one, for that purpose, uh, we have developed uh, Android app uh, for our library. Uh, in that uh, Android app, it's, uh, it's here, a DS, uh, DSDNP library. When you cl just click that one, just click uh, digital library link. Then uh, just uh, select uh, appropriate option uh, what you are uh, required. Uh, for example, I'm going to access mechanical engineering. Uh, in this uh, mechanical engineering, first I have made uh, five options uh, about that audio video lecture, question paper, syllabus, student notes, and project report. Uh, when student want to access uh, audio video lectures, just he has to click uh, this link. And then. Then let's go to the our disperse uh, content. Uh, we uploaded lectures uh, by the by this subject name. Uh, whether we need uh, design of a machine, mechanic, machine elements, just click one. Then uh, 40 to 50 lectures uh, showing in one page. Uh, just we need uh, uh, select which lectures uh, we have needed. You know that uh, this is 161 MB video. It can download it. I am going to click, and here you can find two options. That will play online. You can uh, whether you play online, there is no need to download data. When you need uh, uh, download, and uh, you can uh, uh, access it in your home also after downloading that one. Just click download. You know that 157 MB data is there. But my mobile memory is very low, so that reason I am going to play this in uh, online mode. You now that's it's playing uh, online video. Uh, these are videos uh, from downloaded from the NPTEL National Program for uh, Technology and Learning. It's from uh, especially from IIT professor presented uh, these lectures. And uh, when you go to the back, in especially English communication, these are lectures also there. 
immediately cardio day lecture i'm going to show that uh, now that whether i need uh, grammar english uh, this is having uh, uh, 13 mb that's you know that i will come to know that uh, what is the speed of this just i click uh, uh, download at that time sorry welcome to open school just click download now that uh, 13 mb video it has downloaded 3 mb per second now that it is it's totally indicate now 4 to 5 MB per second uh, videos has downloaded and uh, we can have and uh, access Copy this video MVP. very speedily and uh, last thing is about that uh, that question papers and syllabus student notes everything we have uploaded and uh, student within the campus in their mobile phones uh, they can access our uh, resources uh, without internet especially this main thing i am uh, going to emphasize and this thing and just click and uh, download and open and, uh, it's showing that uh, question papers And same thing we can access in our laptop also. In the mobile phone, I will show that in a small orientation. In the laptop section, just go to the connector. Just a library. Just, just click connect. And go to the browser. Just uh, uh, click our IP address. Now that it's uh, connected, and uh, all resources comes in one platform. Everything shows in the uh, system also. Just click uh, appropriate uh, uh, videos or lecture, and you can download. Uh, now that uh, 119 MB uh, video is on. Oh, that is downloading. Here it's showing. Within thirty seconds or twenty seconds, the videos are videos are going to download. That hundred to uh, two hundred MB video. Let's sit down at a very small. This is the concept of our Wi-Fi library and uh, now uh, we are going to bring some uh, so storm in your uh, teacup of our library. These things I am going to mention and uh, thank you, thank you very much.